LAPD, Mrs. Black. May we come in? We have some bad news, and we'd rather discuss this in private. I'm Margaret Black. We can discuss this in the living room. Please come in. Your husband drives a blue Lincoln, Mrs. Black? That's correct. The car has been found abandoned, and I'm afraid there are signs of foul play. I knew something was wrong when he didn't come home. We believe your husband may be injured. We found a pipe on the scene with blood on it. Oh, no! My poor Adrian! Does the name Instaheat mean anything to you, ma'am? Yes, it does. We've just had a new water heater installed. Whereabouts, Mrs. Black? Just outside the kitchen window, at the side of the house. I'd like you to try and stay calm and remember everything that you can about last night. My partner and I are going to take a look around. When you're ready, we're going to have some more questions for you. Is that okay? Of course, officer. Anything to help secure my husband's safety. Well, let's check the place out. Come on. I don't think this is any use to us. Maybe if... No. Everything here is going to be relevant. Have a good look around. There's got to be something in here to go on. Lie down, make yourself comfortable. So, you're a friend of Courtney's? Yes, doctor. He seems very concerned about you. I have these visions, these blinding visions. I can't get them out of my head. My skull, it, it feels like it's in a vice. I want to give you something to calm your nerves. I want to take you on a journey, a journey back. I want you to remember the good things about your past, occasions that made you laugh, times that made you smile. Cavanaugh's. So who brought this home? Maybe Adrian was a patron. R and I should have an address. Operator, give me R and I. Putting you through now. 
Phelps, badge 1247. How can I help, Detective? I need an address on a Kavanaugh's bar. Certainly, Detective. One moment. Kavanaugh's bar, corner of Aliso and Hewitt, south side of Union Station. Thank you. Used ticket to Seattle and a suitcase gone missing. Someone couldn't wait to get out of this house. This must be Adrian's. Stenzel. So the glasses are a match. Separate bedrooms, separate pictures. What gives here? This was only recently installed, not two days ago. Maybe it's time we took a look around outside.
What do you think? Make sure you cover all the rooms. We don't want to miss anything. So what next? I don't want to upset the lady any more than you do, Phelps, but we're going to have to search this place. Your husband frequents Kavanaugh's bar? How did you know that? Adrian practically lives there after work. So Adrian spends a lot of time there. Up until recently, he's been away in Seattle a lot on business. We found a receipt in the trunk of your husband's car for a live pig. This receipt was made out to an F. Morgan. A pig? Adrian runs a tool business. That would be Frank Morgan. God knows what he's up to. What makes you say that about Morgan, ma'am? He's the foreman at my husband's plant. A very shady character. I've told Adrian he needs to keep his distance from the staff. They're always out drinking together. Did your husband tell you where he was going last night? All he said was he was going to meet Frank for a drink. So nothing out of the usual, then? Well, he came home early from work. He never comes home early. And he went out early, too. He normally never leaves for the bar till about seven. Was your husband wearing his glasses when he left here yesterday? Yes, he just bought a new pair. So you disposed of the new pair after you killed your husband? You made a mistake in leaving the old pair behind. I never did! How can you be so heartless, throwing around accusations at a time like this? I'm at a loss. Have a good look around. There's got to be something in here to go on. Find Adrian, officer. Bring him home, please. me anything to go on. doubt it. Not sure this means much.
Help me out. Make sure you cover all the rooms. We don't want to miss anything. No use leaving the thing half finished. That can't be right. No, that won't work. No use leaving the thing half finished. That looks wrong. Doesn't go there. I can't be right. No, that won't work. So the pipe missing from Mr. Black's heater is the same one that killed him. Huh. Seems like the assailant is a little closer to home. Probably nothing. They've been talking about it on the radio.
I think you should come clean with us, Mrs. Black. Your husband is missing, and after our search, I'm willing to call the circumstances suspicious. Can you account for your movements last night? You're not accusing me, are you? What an awful thing to say. I was here all night, of course, waiting for Adrian to come home. Is there anyone who can vouch for that? Well, no. I, I was here alone. I cooked Adrian's dinner and waited, but he never came home. To my Adrian, this thing gets more and more interesting. I'm all right now, detectives. Tell us about the photo of Adrian in the bedroom. What is there to tell? It's from his most recent business trip to Seattle. You and your husband are in separate bedrooms. What gives? Did you want him out of the way, Margaret? I did not. My husband and I may have drifted apart, but it, it wasn't my choice. We'll keep you informed, Mrs. Black. Please do, Detective. Uh, 
I'm sorry. If there's nothing more, I really think I should lie down. Jesus, I'm glad to be out of there. Mr. and Mrs. Black don't seem to have the happiest home life. He's too scared to divorce her, and she's too much of a shrinking violet to throw him out. If this hadn't happened, they could have stayed miserable together forever. You think she could have killed him? She sure as hell doesn't seem the type. But stranger things have happened. Slow down! You? No, you don't. I'm stumped. Ideas? Ask the barkeep. He'll know all the regulars. You looking for someone? I love these waitresses. Everyone's a dog. Everyone's a dog. You know Frank Morgan? Sure. Frank's your regular. He's a loner in the back. She wants a five-star goddamn wedding. Say, could I borrow some of that mascara? Frank Morgan? Who's asking? Cole Phelps, LAPD. I understand you're a friend of Adrian Black. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Are you aware that he's missing? No, I hadn't heard that. Tough break. We found Black's car, abandoned in a freight depot, covered in blood. You know anything about that, Morgan? Hell no. Uh, I, I'm sorry to hear that. I like Adrian. He, he's a good no, boss. Please, don't tell me you actually believe this jerk-off, Phelps.
I think you were in on it, Morgan. You drove down there, and you let Black have it. Ooh, I'm a bad boy. That the best you got? When did you last see Adrian? Hell, I don't know. Uh, I had plenty to drink last night. Things are a little sketchy. You're lying, Morgan. What happened to Adrian? I have ten guys who say I was here the whole night. You think you can prove I was there? You through making accusations you can't back up? This doesn't add up, Morgan. Your excuses don't help. Let's see how you enjoy the LAPD taking an interest in your life. You want my opinion? We tell Morgan. I say he's lying, and whatever hole he's got Adrian stashed in, he's got to go back there sometime. Sure left his drink in a hurry. I bet he wishes he'd rehearsed that story better now. Too close, Phelps. Way too close. Thanks, Cole. Give him some room. Where are you taking us, Mr. Morgan? Check the place out. Come on. Day one of the big time, and you're already tailing drunks home from bars. You having fun yet? I told you it was nonstop glamour work in traffic, didn't I? I'm just trying to learn. Oh, come on, Phelps. Save the creepy teacher's pet stuff for Leary. It won't work on me. All right, let's pay our friend a visit, see if he's missed us yet. Who 
the hell is that? Will you relax? Jesus, Adrian, I told you, we're in the clear. I'll get it. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. It's over, Morgan. Mr. Black, LAPD, give yourself up now. I knew it. Phelps, go after him. I'll try and hit him off in the car. Remember, the gun is the last resort. There's no point running, Adrian. Mr. Black, get back here right now. Stop right there, Adrian. It's over, Adrian. Why not just come clean with her, Black? Why the melodrama? I thought it would be easier. No, it just got a whole lot harder. Adrian Black, you're under arrest for conspiracy and fraud. We'll see what the DA has to say about wasting police resources on a wild goose chase like this. You're gonna lose your wife, lose your job, and probably end up in the big house. I hope she was worth it, Adrian. That turned out to be quite some case, huh? Adrian, what an idiot. You got an arrest and a clearance in your first case, and in fine style, too. Well done, detective. Efficient investigation technique, good public presence. You keep that up and you learn from Bukowski here, and you could go a long way in this department. 